This is the acceptance video for the Heller 1912 EXL. I'm going to start by walking around. You'll notice we have all the covers off. That's just for the first part of the video here. We want you to see better and you can't see much with covers on. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go through your acceptance list now. We're going to start with your uh, questions about nitrogen control. This is the main nitrogen inlet right here on the back side. Okay. The controls are here. That's the flow control for the fans. So that's the plenum for each blower. And then this is the entrance flow and exit flow, flow meters along with the sample port. Okay. Next is the conveyor speed. Well, actually, let's. The question was top and bottom heat control. So, as, as you can see, we have top set points and present value for just the top zones. So, you have 12 heated zones, three cool, and then you have 12 separate, independently controlled bottom heat zones. So you can see we've set the top at 60C, we've achieved 60C, here we've set it at 45, achieved, achieved 45. So completely independent top to bottom controls. Does green mean that it's good? It's in control, yeah. It's gotcha. at, at set point and within its limits. Gotcha. Now the conveyor, um, right now we have the conveyor running at 38 inches a minute. Okay. We can lower that to show you that it, I don't know if you can get a shot of it, how fast it's going. So we're moving the speed down to 20 inches per minute. Right. And we do that just by changing the number in the box on the screen here. So we change this one to 20 where the mouse cursor is, and you can see now it's recalibrating itself to meet the new set point. Now it's at 20. That's 20 inches per minute. Oh yeah, it's, it's really slow down. Now we can slow it down to 10. So I change it to 10, hit enter. Now you'll see it start to recalibrate itself down to 10. It's going to come under and then come back up. Will it go green when it's in control? Yes. There's probably some timer involved to make sure that it, have, you know. Now you can show the board. Oh, it's barely moving. And now you can see green. Now there's a, there's a timer that for it waits for it to completely stabilize. Okay. Now in terms of the conveyor width, we've calibrated the width and set all the parallelism. So you can see here, this board is a nine inch board. You can see the width is set for nine inches. 
It achieved nine inches. Now there's an allowable tolerance in the software. That's why it's at 9.015. That's gotcha. only 10,000 so over 15,000 so over. So you can see at nine inches, we've got just a little bit of play here like we want. Mm -hmm. It's perfectly smooth on the chain. Now when we get down into the heated zones, we intentionally open the width up a little bit, maybe about a millimeter, because the board will grow when it gets hot. You don't want it tight in this end of the oven, or it'll put too much pressure on the chains and wear out the rail. So that's why you'll see a little bit extra play here. That's intentional. Again, it's perfectly smooth. Where's that gap? You can see the little extra gap here. It'll be maintained all through the reflow zone. Now I'm going to send it down to the end. And you can see it's still smooth. And we narrow it up a hair on the end so that it will help guide it onto the next conveyor. So it's snug. It'll be a little bit snug on, as it comes out. That's, okay. that's by design. We're going to slow the speed down to zero so we can show the... Um, the flow, the, the static flow in every zone, the convection flow. So we're just going to set this to zero to stop the chain. We have a, uh, a magna helix here that will show inches of water column of pressure. And we'll show this for each zone to show that every zone is working. Okay. So we'll start, we'll do all 12 top plus the three cool on the top, and then we'll come back and do the bottom. Okay. What am I looking for? You can see it's reading a little bit over gotcha. half an inch of water column. When I take it away, it goes to zero. Gotcha. Now that's zone two. Zone one is IR, so there is no convection for zone one up here. So that's two. That's three. That's four. That's five. Six. Seven. Eleven. Well, now you got your three cool. These are going to be a little lower in pressure. They do that intentionally. It's the design of the zone. Okay. Now we're going to come back with twelve bottom. Okay. Okay. Gotta get it through the mesh. <laughs> oh, that's why you set the speed to zero. Right. Gotcha. That's all the zones. Okay, great. Next is the quite We're going to show how a. Uh, we're going to put the speed back to 38 here first. We're going to show how a recipe is selected and loaded. Okay. So that's done up here on the top bar, top choice bar. We've got recipe. And we've got open. You must ensure the oven is empty before load it is. So we say yes. Gives you your list of recipes. We're going to just reload the one we're running, which is CE wake up number two. So you select it, say open. Is this correct? Yes. Do you want to move the rails? Now, if I say yes, it's going to rehome the rails. Um, we'll go ahead and say yes. So now you're going to see the rails are coming into the home switch, which is down here. It's going to touch off on its home switch so it knows where home is. 
and then it will go back out to its set point of nine inches. These orange, these were just mine for, so I could find the master link on the chain. Those will be gone when the oven ships. Just little rubber pieces. Boy, that width is quiet. Very quiet. Its minimum width is 1.969 inches or something, so right around two inches, That's what, which is what that is. So now that it found home, and, and, and which is the 1.976 inches, now it's gonna go out to what we had as a set point in our program, which is nine inches. Okay. And it does that just to make sure it knows absolutely for sure where home is before it sets its next set point when you load a new program. And you can see it counting out here. See, we're up to Look the, looks like it's there. So you can see our board. Nine inches. Mm -hmm. Got it. And you can see right where we want it. Great. So the, the chain is in, in calibration. The last thing that was requested on this part of the video was to um, demonstrate the use of the emergency stop circuit. Okay. Oh, that did it. I did it. Okay, that's the first part of this video. We're going to go through the temperature ranges next, correct? Yes. And the uh, second part of the video will have uh, covers on the machine. So, be right back. The next part of this acceptance video for the Heller 1912 EXL is going to come in three parts. First part is at set at 65C. I'm going to show it holding temperature, but covers are now on the machine, so I'm going to walk around the machine one more time so you can see how it looks with all the covers on. As you can see, lights are green, set points and present values are the same. Okay, we're going to pause the video here and we're going to do 100C. Okay, this is part two of the second part. We're going to show all the temperatures set at 100C. Okay, one more break and we'll be back with 150C. Okay, this is the last part of the, the demonstration. Oven is set to 150 degrees C. You can see the set points and the present values. But one other thing we'd like to show you, this, this machine has board tracking. We're going to put a board in and you're going to see it show up on the screen. There's a bit of the onload distance here, so it won't show up until it actually gets in the tunnel of the oven. Gotcha. It should be any second. 
In the lower right hand corner, it says number in Evan. Is that correct? Yes. There it is. Okay, you see the yellow, uh, the line that, see how it's progressing? That's the board moving throughout the oven, or simulation of the board moving out throughout the oven. Okay, that's the demonstration. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.